interviewing Marty Goldman as part of the JCC Past Presidents um, project, and we're at the JCC in Dallas. What was the JCC's official name during your tenure, Marty? You, you know, at one time it was the Julia Sheps Community Center before it was the, after it was the JCC, but I grew up in South Dallas, and it was called the Jewish Community Center, then up here in 1952 or three or whenever it was. Uh, I think my cousin Joe Goldman was president, and uh, I think it might have been the Jew Julia Sheps Community Center. Did you belong to the JCC as a family when you were growing up? Yes, this was my home away from home. I've still got baseball pictures of the JCC baseball team, and I can name all the players, people that all, we all grew up with, all about 80 years old or so. That's wonderful. So when did you serve as president? Uh, 1988 through 1990. I was leader of the year in 1982. Okay, so you were on the board for quite a long time, and you were I was, vice president. And I moved was up. the first uh, chairman of the PE committee when the JCC opened up. And what did the PE committee oversee? All, Every, all, the, all sports. the activities, all the sports. Okay, and you had been involved in sports when you were growing up. So. I, was, I was heavily involved in sports. Okay, and what was your title during your tenure? Were you president? Were you uh, well, chairman? I was. I started out as as chairing the PE committee. Then I moved. I went to a JWB convention. And what is that? It's all the community centers, and. I went to a convention in uh, Los Angeles, and they said, well, this guy is, uh, is going to the convention. We ought to make him an officer. So I became treasurer of the JCC, and about 10 years later, I became president of the JCC, and that was when Harry Rosen was around. Okay, I was going to ask you about that. Who were some of the various leaders during your time we had, on the We board? had some really wonderful leaders. A look. In the early days, Murray Mumbus and, and uh, Donsky and Mickey Rubin, uh, uh, they, were, they, they were really the salt and pepper of the thing. But right before me, uh, Mel Isaacs and, and Donnie Schaefer and uh, um, Irv Ravinsky were right before me, as was uh, Harlan Pollock. Terrific people. Um, what was the relationship between the J and the Federation during your? It was adver time? adversarial, and a lot of that was because of Harry Rosen. He championed his center, and he wanted as much for him, for the center as he could he could get. And he taught me a lot. He taught me how to champion the center, mm -hmm. and uh, but it became less adversarial as time went on, and he left. Mm -hmm. um, how did the Jewish community interact with the secular? Dallas community? Not so much, but some. Were there um, a lot of non-Jewish members at the there time? Weren't. It there was, weren't. It was mostly Jewish? It was mostly Jewish. But that's why they started, they named the place the Julia Shep Center, although Julia Shep's never really gave money to the, to the center. He really didn't. Uh, they thought his name would bring in some grants and foundations. And in that degree, it was successful. Because of his civic involvement? Mm -hmm. What significant local, national, or international events had an effect on your era? Do you remember any of that? I really don't remember too much about that. OK. And who were the prominent supporters of the J during your time? You named several. Or were there any others that may not have been president or that just were big well, supporters? Well, when I was president, uh, we retired the debt at the JCC. Uh, Bob Weiss was our, I think they called it executive director, and he uh, uh, he came here, he was here for a little short time, and the Meadows Foundation wanted to hire him away, and I, I got a hold of Curtis Meadows, I said, Curtis, you're taking our number one guy, we've waited for so long to hire him, and you're taking him, you, can, you can't get this one for free. So we worked out a deal. He gave us $250,000, and uh, he said, but I want a matching gift. And so I went to see uh, Howard Schultz, and Howard Schultz, well, it's a long story, but the bottom line is 
we went around and we raised the $250,000 worth about 20 people in a short period of time. And we retired the debt at the JCC, and that's the first time it had been retired in years. Mm -hmm. Were there some other major fundraisers while you were? We had a tuxedo involved? night where Joni and I worked together. It was the first major fundraiser. But that's one of the things I did was raising money. And uh, I just had a lot of fun doing it. And I had the time to do it. Mm -hmm. And I was looking, um, were you involved in the golf tournament? I was, yes, I was. I was one of the originators of the golf tournament. And what, when was that? Do you remember when that started? I don't remember. Okay. Can we take a short break? Um, how has the, Jew the Jewish community changed over the years? good news is the, the surrounding area has joined the center. They've taken advantage of uh, the great programs that we have here. They certainly love the new activities, the pools and the, and the track and the, just the, the center just offers so much. And the center, the luncheons they have here for the seniors, and a lot of our friends that are not Jewish, they eat here five days a week. So it's really served the community well. Is your family still involved in uh, the center? They belong here, mm -hmm. but not day to day involved. Everybody was a counselor. Mm -hmm. All my children were counselors at the camp. Mm -hmm. My grandchildren were counselors at the camp. Mm -hmm. And uh, Yannette Hogue was. Uh, the teacher when my oldest daughter was uh, in preschool. How about that? Uh, what were some of the initiatives to increase um, membership while you were at the J and involved? Well, that was a shining star um, when I got involved. They had a contributing members deal, and they had 43 members as contributing members. And I got together with Joni, and I said, Joni, I'm going to have a party. And we're going to invite everybody for lunch, and I'm going to ask them to become contributing members. In that time, it was probably three hundred dollars, and if you became a contributing member, it went to five or six hundred. And we went from like thirty-five or forty to about one hundred and twenty or thirty in the first year, and then the rest is history. There's so many contributing members now, but it all started when Joni and I got together and. Uh, you're going to interview her. I am. And she'll talk to you Next about week. how aggressive fundraising we did as far as wanting to make contributions to people. We developed a book, and you bought a book for $10 or whatever, mm -hmm. and you just got to clip the coupons and send it in, and we raised a lot of money that way. So I was pretty proud of that. So Joni was one of the key staff that you worked with. Were there some other people that, that you worked with a lot that you wanted talk about it all? You mentioned Harry Rosen was the er, Early on. And then you had... But he was never here when I became president. Oh, okay. He left under a... Before I, before I became president. So was it Bob Weiss that was... He was number two. Exec. Mm -hmm. Ricky Merlin was an interim uh, exec when I was here. Mm -hmm. And then Bob Weiss and then Carol, mm -hmm. Karen Stern. Mm -hmm. So I had three execs. Uh, during my venue, that was a lot for one president. Mm -hmm. But I was juggling balls, and and uh, what I was really proud of is, if, if you got on our board, and when I was president, you were going to go to lunch with me because I was going to find out what you wanted to do, how I could get you involved, and I think one of the real success stories we developed uh, volunteerism like it never happened before. Everybody wanted to have a job here. They wanted to be a part of it. And what well, the success was taking these people to lunch and feel what they really wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And so I was pretty proud, of, proud about that. What are some other things that you're really proud of during uh, your time? The most proud is I've got people that came on my watch uh, that were vice presidents and they moved up the ladder. And I, and I would say that I helped develop them, but they were so much smarter than I was, it wasn't even funny. The ones that I, I, I brought on board and I wanted them was uh, 
Yannette, and, and Ann Stern. Ann Stern was our first lady vice first, first president. I wanted a lady because I thought that Harry uh, overlooked some really talented people. So I brought on uh, Ann Stern. She served admirably. And then after her is Foxman and Seymour and Mike Hirsch and Kenny Goldberg and Stuart Prescott, Toby Gerber, all of them prominent people in the community, all of them tireless workers. And I told uh, Kenny Goldberg, I said, there's about four people that be, should be on Mount Rushmore for the Jewish community in this era. And Kenny, you'd be one of them. Nice. I told Carol Aaron she'd be another one. <laughs> Absolutely. Any other special experiences or stories that you'd like to tell? Well, just besides the, the people that uh, grew up right after my watch, so to speak, just became such wonderful ambassadors for the community. I'm most proud of those. Mm -hmm. Do you think the center has changed? It's changed. Uh, I, I don't know. I know the preschool has really changed. And... Uh, I don't know, it's probably, what, 35 or 40 percent non-Jewish now. If you live in Highland Park, you want to come to the JCC. Mm -hmm. It's accredited school, and it makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. And uh, but Laura Seymour was a big advocate for the schools and the camping. And uh, to me, she was just an inspiration to have in our community and as someone to, to rely on. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you'd like to add uh, about the JCC and the people that you served with and, and your time? Uh, there, there's nothing. I just, I'm, I'm happy that our children uh, were in the, in the community and, and they served in the community. I was proud of uh, my daughter and my son-in-law. They became leaders of the year at, at Federation at the same time two leaders of the year for the Federation. That was a big deal. Outstanding. And uh, our son, Max, uh, he, he lives in San Antonio now, but the center was a big part of his life. And uh, good for other people. I mean, he was a counselor, really good for the community and good for him. So leadership is what the center instills in people that come up through the board of the JCC. And uh, thank you for volunteering for what you do. And thank you for your service. We really appreciate it. Thank you for coming in, Marty. Uh -huh. Okay.